Dzień dobry, cześć, hello. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about five things that are done better in Poland than in the USA. So I just have to say that this is my opinion in my opinion only. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is really just for fun. And anyways, guys, make sure to watch my other video titled five things done better in the USA than in Poland. So anyways, guys, let's just get started. So the first one on my list is bread and butter. And yeah, that's not a joke. Bread and butter is just done way better in Poland than in the US. Okay, it's it, you can't it's hard to even compare because bread in the US is absolutely horrible there's really not a whole lot of bakeries and when you go to one sometimes they can be super expensive for just like a loaf of bread so whereas in Poland you can go to a bakery pretty much anywhere I mean every single city small town you know village is gonna have a bakery and they're gonna have amazing bread there and most of the time you can smell it before you even see the shop too because most of the time they're baking their bread you know in the morning or something like that and then you can just smell it on your walk to the bakery. It's a really cool part of Poland. And I'm really sure that most of the Polish people that are going to watch this are going to be like, what are you talking about? This is just bread. Like, are you seriously going to make this one of the points on your list? And yes, I am because it's that much better. See, in the US, we have like loaves of bread that are, you know, the most classic one in the US that a lot of Americans, you know, everyone knows is like a white bread. Okay. It's it's like this loaf of bread. Um, and it's just, it's, it's absolutely absolutely horrible it's just full of chemicals it's disgusting honestly it's pretty hard to even eat after going to Poland and then coming back to the US in the region Lubelska or I'm definitely certain in Lublin is that you can find sabulash so this is like onion bread and it sounds kind of disgusting at first but it's just like a loaf of bread with onions and like butter on it and it's super simple but it's one of my favorite things to eat in Poland I absolutely love going to the bakery you know every other day or so and getting sabulash and eating it it's so good and also i wanted to add butter to this list just because it's so much better in poland so yeah our butter here tends to be very bland and plain compared to butter in poland and that's really all i'm gonna say to this list i'm not gonna talk much longer about butter so anyways guys let's get to the next point so the next point is honesty and criticism okay the criticism that comes out of poland that people have said to me either in the comments or in real life or my friends that i've talked to in Poland the things they've said to me would not fly in America you see here in America we have this attitude of everything's all right everything's happy and you know everything's great all the time you know let's put on our Hollywood smiles right and just smile okay we're never upset or anything like that and if we have a problem with someone or we just want to tell someone something to maybe fix something most of the time that doesn't happen honestly I think Americans kind of have a problem with criticism and they just can't take criticism um, or the honesty you know that goes along with that I think most of the time Americans just can't take that you see whenever I was talking to one of my Polish friends he ended up telling me that my face was fat hello Trevor your face is fat oh my god at the time I was in Poland, I was drinking and eating a lot of Polish foods. So I was drinking salty beer and I was eating foods. So of course I'm gonna get fat and also hold, you know, more water retention and stuff like that as well. So I was fat and I was holding water a little bit fatter than, you know, what I am now. So he told me that he's like, yeah, your face is fat. <laughs> I'm just like, I started laughing cause I'm like, that's the most Polish thing you could have ever said to me. And I was just thinking about how honest the guy was when he was telling me that and how funny it was and you know most of the comments that I get on YouTube before whenever I just started and I was making you know Polish content the comments that I was receiving was really hard to hear most of the time because it really wasn't a whole lot of positive reinforcement but then again most of the things that people have said in the comments have made me a better person and youtuber and editor and there's definitely a line between criticism and hate I totally understand that but if someone's just trying to help you fix something most of the time just take it as constructive criticism so the next one is environmental awareness honestly I think Poland is changing a lot when it comes to the environment and things like that and fixing it obviously Poland has a uh, very bad air quality right it just tends to sit in I'm pretty sure Silesia and you know the mountain region Krakow Zakopane all of that stuff you know it just kind of sits in the mountains you know and I know that some people you know a lot of people are still burning coal in their chimneys and I know that some 
some people are even burning trash as well, which of course is absolutely horrible for the environment. But then again, whenever I go to Poland, every single time I'm there, I always think about how things are done environmentally. So whenever you go to Poland, you have to pay for your bags. Uh, like if you're gonna go grocery shopping or go to the mall or you know something like that. And because of this, a lot of people will reuse bags. When I was in Poland, I was reusing bags. I'm pretty sure that there's also a lot of different taxes towards vehicles that are you know having worse emissions or you know older or things like that and i'm pretty sure that poland is leaning towards the right direction when it comes to the environment and slowly over time i think it's just going to get better and better you know in the next decades to come so just bear with me here the next one is tiles and flooring okay flooring is done better in poland than in the u.s when you go to poland all of the floors in the homes are always tiled or they're either you know they have wood over them versus in the u.s there's lots of homes with carpet still most of the time in the u.s when they make a house now most of the time the bottom floor is typically wood or you know they also have this in different colors and then usually in the top floor and individual rooms they will have carpet in them still they're still making homes like that and honestly i don't really know why it's nice to have a rug in a room you know something that you could throw away every year you know if it gets dirty over time but to have a carpet of something that can get stained especially when you're walking on it constantly and also that you know a lot of Americans will wear shoes inside and I know everyone will cringe and say what are you doing man what are you doing why are you doing that and it's just something that I grew up with I wore shoes inside no one cared that's just what we did I mean we cleaned the floors and we vacuumed and swept and all of that stuff but it's still a lot more better to obviously just have tile flooring or wood flooring throughout the entire house and going along with this I'm gonna add this as a bonus point is that you know houses are done better in Poland than in the US okay I've worked in construction in warehouses and residential homes and the homes they make here they are a joke okay if a tornado came here to the area in which I live all the homes would be torn down instantly they build these homes in sometimes less than a few weeks they basically mass produce these homes here in the US and their frames would tip over compared to a Polish house. You see, in Poland, I've never worked in construction, but I've definitely analyzed houses in different buildings and construction along with this. And every single house I saw that was in construction in Poland looked like they were preparing for a tornado in the future. You see, all of these homes had either cinder blocks or bricks built all the way up to the top. And also the roof tiles are typically made out of like a clay or, you know, a type of metal. I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure what the exact material is, but honestly, I think Polish homes are aesthetically more pleasing in Poland than in the US and honestly the new ones that have kind of a white with a black roof they kind of have this like Japanese look looks very sophisticated to me and it's something that I think are done much better in Poland than compared to the cheap houses that are done here and the next one is family you see whenever I go to Poland and I experience my girlfriend's family you know it's not something I'm generally used to because I grew up with divorced parents and and honestly like not having a family that was like extremely tight and I noticed that people seem to be a lot more family oriented in Poland than in the US and I feel like people in Poland put a lot more emphasis on family in general uh, let me know if this is wrong but honestly I really definitely believe this yeah I don't know I feel like in the US it's just changed you know immigrants came here to make money and then, you know, most of the time people just ended up just trying to chase money here and forgetting about their own family, you know, and what's actually important in life. So change my mind on that if you think I'm wrong and let me know what you think or really just any of these points because this is it for the video. That's those were the five things that are done better in Poland than in the USA from my own humble opinion. And yeah, if you have anything you want to add, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you want to change my mind on something, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm eager to hear your criticism. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Dziękuję i do widzenia.